Okay, we can start by having you say your name. Uh, my name is David Dow. Hi, my name is Stephanie Wanto. Well, my name's Marina. My name's Haley Howard. Uh, my name is Anna. Hi, I'm Mayu. Hi, I'm Katrina Patterson. I'm Steven. Uh, I'm Joe Rodriguez. Oh, I'm Christopher Nisi. Easy in Abba. Um, we're going to be asking questions concerning the Black Panther Party, the civil rights activism, and um, the Black Lives Matter movement. And the first question is, what do you know about the Black Panther Party? Nothing. I've never heard of it. What do you know about the Black Panther Party? Not a lot. Um, I, have, I don't know much about it. I've never heard of it. Um, I know they support some black rights, I think. I did like a research project on this last year, but um, I know that the Black Panther Party was, I want to say like, the way I think about it is like the black version of the KKK, except I don't remember them like killing, but they were like a violent group. Like they were angered black people. Um, from what I know, it took place mostly like it was more powerful in the civil rights movement. And it was a group of black activists who were fighting for black rights, you know, black equality. That's the most I know about it. Um, was it a Black Panther movement that was, like, they responded with violence? That's what you heard. <laughs> um, they were a group of black activists that taught black people um, self-defense. Is that true? Okay. Uh, from what I know, they are a uh, the black nationalist uh, uh, organization that, uh, that, that promotes Maoist and Marxist ideals. Uh, usually they are... Uh, when I think of them, they always promote militants mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and, uh, and pro provocative action. Um, is the party recognized in school curriculum? No. I don't think so. No. No? I don't believe so. No, definitely not. Okay. It's not in school, it's for my parents, especially like my dad, because he's really, he's like really involved. Well, in, like he, He's more ed educated on the issues and all that, and my mom, mostly, it's mostly my parents. Uh, how does it make you feel to not have learned about it? It feels like I should have, like, I, being black, it feels like I should know. It's, it makes me feel um, a bit out of touch, because um, it's a whole race, basically, that we're not learning about. It's kind of upsetting, because I actually am part of that ethnic group. Um, why do you think um, Martin Luther King's name comes up more than, uh, let's say, Malcolm X or uh, Emory Douglas? I think the way his methods were more approved by the people who, you know, judge or, like, dictate what's shown to the people. I feel like we hear more about, like, civil rights um, you said activists um, because they want us to, they want more people like Martin Luther King Jr., people who, like, um, advocate for, like, hope and hope for our future. I think because we always put, we have a face to put to it, like whenever you think civil rights, you think Martin Luther King right mm -hmm. off the top of your head, but then when I think of Black Panther, there's no, there's, there was probably obviously major um, political leaders involved during that movement, but I don't have like anyone to put a face to it, mm -hmm. at least for me, probably because it was left out mm -hmm. in our school curr curriculum and stuff like that. Um, okay, so what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear about the Black Lives Matter movement? Crooked cops. Ferguson. Um, when I heard about it, I kind of connected with this um shooting of a little a kid I heard a while ago. I'm not sure if it was true because I just saw it on Instagram and I was like, "Oh, that sucks." And then kept scrolling. Oh, where have you seen and heard about it? 
Uh, you see, I see on Twitter, I see on Instagram, all sorts of social media. My friends talk about it. Uh, I support it personally. So yeah. In light of recent events, why is it, or why is the resurfacing of these movements and the ideas behind them important, like Black liberation, equality, um, societal integration? Well, I would say it's important because it's still it's still relevant because there's still things bad happening in the black community, especially now because uh, because more police brutality events are taking place again, like Alton Sterling. When we see this stuff, everybody has to come back together and it's kind of like history's repeating itself. So everybody's kind of like, I don't know, like scared for the future, so. Mm. Okay, cool. thank you. <laughs>
Cause you already know Girl, what you crying for? Cheer up, cheer up, cheer up oh. She keeps saying that she gotta go But I know that you wanna stay Cheer up, cheer up, I'ma help you cheer up oh. Top down, riding through my city like